So engine's a 56 metre Perini, uh, it's the only 56 metre sloop. It has an aluminium mast that's 75 metres. It's extremely heavy, around 20, 22, 22 and a half tonnes. It's a, a big piece of aluminium that has to be managed carefully. The crane comes over from the mainland. The crane, unfortunately on the island, we don't have a crane this big. It's a TT500. It uh, has a huge lifting capacity, but what's more important for us is that it has 96 meters of clearance with the jib. So uh, that allows us to lift the whole thing out of the boat nice and easily. No stress, no uh, issues with regards to hook height, that side of things. It's a delicate dance that, uh, that the guys are very good at. Um, the weather didn't really play ball overly today. It just ups the stress levels a little as well, but um, guys have done an amazing job in getting the prep work done over the last week or so. So the whole thing went like clockwork, as you know, anyone that uses RSB comes to expect. It happens uh, with no fuss, no noise, it come, and uh, the rig came out without any, any major issues whatsoever. As you can see right now, it's, it's on the ground behind. The industry has taken quite a hit, obviously. It's been a, a tough few months. Uh, however, we're, we're still alive, we're still kicking. We have picked up more refit work. Uh, well, I think with owners that are unsure as to what's going to happen this summer, they've uh, moved their refit projects from the winter through to this summer. So we've, we've actually become busier than we normally would be, which is fantastic. It means that we're able to keep our guys employed and be earning money through the summer, which is generally a quiet period for us. Beige and second time, second time round. Another, yeah, another, another good project and, and one that we're very happy to be involved with.